In this tutorial, we'll use Inkscape to draw an image and generate G-code that Dorna will use to draw a light painting. Inkscape is a vector graphics software that runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. We will use Inkscape to draw our images that Dorna will trace out with light. Once you've installed and opened Inkscape, you should see a window like this. Let's change some of Inkscape's settings to make it easier for ourselves later on. First, go to File, Document Properties, and change the display units to inches. Under the border section, uncheck the show page border box. It's also helpful to have a grid on your Inkscape document. Click on the grids tab and select a new rectangular grid. You can now close the document properties window. Now, we're going to use Inkscape's built-in G-code tools to orient our points and generate G-code. Navigate to Extensions, G-Code Tools, and then Orientation Points. Then set your units to inches and set the Z-surface to 15.0 and the Z-depth to 14.5. Then click Apply. After you click Apply, you'll notice that the orientation point at 5.0.14.5 is not lined up with your grid markers. Select it and move it to the right grid marker. This makes it easier to draw later on. The way we have our document set up, your image will be drawn 14.5 inches in front of Dorna's origin. This gives Dorna some room to move, but you can experiment with this distance. Now let's draw our image. Make sure that layer 1 is selected and click on the Create Stars and Polygons button on the left sidebar. Draw a star with its center at x equals 0 and y equals 8. Then click the Select and Transform Objects button on the left sidebar. Now we need to convert this star into a path that can be translated into G-code that Dorna can follow. In the menu bar, select Path, Object to Path. You should see the following on the bottom of your document. Path, 10 nodes in layer 1. Click selection to toggle, scale, slash rotation handles. Now we can convert our new path to G-code using Inkscape's built-in G-code tools. In the menu bar, navigate to Extensions, G-code tools, Path to G-code. Make sure your settings are as follows. Under the Preferences tab, name your file and select the directory where you want it to be saved. And again, make sure your units are in inches. Then click Apply. Your star should now be outlined with arrows, indicating the path. And you should have a new file, star underscore 0001.ngc, in the directory that you chose. That's all we need to do in Inkscape. Now let's move over to the Dorna API. Create a Python script called ledImageDraw.py. So what we're going to do first is import the Dorna API and import a few useful modules. So let's type from Dorna, import Dorna, import time, and import JSON. These modules will be helpful to us later on. So let's type robot equals Dorna. And then let's create a variable and store the output of robot.connect into a variable called parsed JSON. We'll use this to check if we've connected to the robot or not. So if the connection is 2, which means it's connected, we'll move on. Else, we'll print error. The robot is not connected. If the robot isn't connected, try unplugging the cable and plugging it back in. So once we're connected, let's home the robot. We'll do this by homing all the joints. So let's type that out. robot.homej0, robot.homej1, robot.homej2, and robot.homej3.
Once we've homed the robot, let's move the robot to the outstretched position. We'll do that by writing a move command. So let's type start equals command move. The parameter will be path joint the movement will be in absolute coordinates so we'll type 0 let's set a speed and then we'll set all the joints to 0 This will move the robot arm straight in front. Once we've written that command, let's play it. Robot.play start. Now we need to get the G code. So let's type with open star dot zero 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 one dot ngc, which was the file we created earlier as f will read the lines from that file and store it in a variable. Now let's create a g-code list which we'll use later on and now we're going to loop through the content of the g-code file. First we're going to have a check that if we reach the footer we're done. We don't need to read anything beyond that. Then, if we encounter a G00 or a G01 command, we're going to take that line and store it. So first we need to make the necessary coordinate transformations so that Dorna will draw the image in the YZ plane instead of on the XY plane. So once we've encountered the right G code command, G00 or G01, Let's make the coordinate transformation on that line. And we'll do that with a series of Python's replace function. So let's take x and put it in a temporary variable. Put y in a temporary variable. Then we'll replace z with x, replace the second temporary variable with z, and replace the first temporary variable with y. Then we're going to find anything extra in that line, such as the feed rate parameter, and we're going to ignore it, because we don't need it to make Dorna draw the image. Then we're going to append the g90 command before every line in our command list, so that Dorna will move in absolute coordinates, and we'll add that to our list gc. Now we need to play the g-code commands. So let's type out for L and GC. We'll create a template command. Temp equals GC L for each entry in our G GC list. And our job is equal to robot.gcode temp. This line of code will loop through our gcode command list and run robot.gcode for each entry in the list. Each gcode command will be appended to the last one so that all of them will play. Now we'll wait for the last job to finish, and then exit our script. We'll do this by typing parse json equals json.loads job, and we'll get the job ID from the last job on the queue. Then we'll get the json output from the robot.command function. And while the state of the job is not finished, or is not equal to 2, we'll wait. We'll wait a small amount of time and then check again if the state has changed. Once the state of the last g-code command has reached 2, we're done. Then we can terminate the robot object and be done with the script. Now that we've finished the script, you can attach a light to Dorna and play the script and you should see Dorna draw out the star. If you'd like more information on how to set up your camera to do a light painting, you can check out some of the links below.